Hi, this is Courtney. Welcome to my video on how to beat the first Save Our Seeds of Ancient Egypt with no plant food and no power-ups. As you can see, to earn this star, I have to survive and protect the endangered plants, and I can't lose any lawnmowers. So the endangered plants are these sunflowers in the yellow and black areas. I just have to make sure they don't get eaten. And to do that, I'll definitely need some walnuts. I'm going to take potato mines. I'm going to kill everything with bloomerangs. And then I'm also going to take bonk choy and iceberg lettuce. We do have the grave buster here. When we unlock the gate to get to the saver seeds, you get access to the grave buster seed packet. But we don't really need it in this level. There's hardly any graves anyway. There's exactly four of them, in fact. But the graves are nothing the bloomerangs can't handle, so it's definitely a waste of a slot to take the Grave Buster. I really like the Save Our Seeds levels. I find them extremely fun, and they're even more fun when you can't use plant food, so you will soon see how exciting it gets. There's tons of pharaoh zombies in this level, which makes it really, really tough. And while the level is actually beatable without plant food and without bong choys, it gets a little bit messy. A lot of plants get eaten, so I prefer to take along the bong choy to help clean those things up. I'm going to kill this zombie down at the bottom with a boomerang. And we're also going to use walnut here to make sure that the zombie does not eat our endangered sunflower. We have a little bit more sun than we would have during this point in the level, in the usual level, because we got the three free sunflowers at the start, so that's kind of nice. This zombie at the top is a little bit annoying. I'm gonna plant a walnut. The zombie in the third lane will get close to our endangered plant, but it won't eat it. There you go. It's like I'm a prophet or something. <laughs> okay, I'm going to plant this potato mine for that conehead zombie. I definitely have to keep planting sunflowers. It's easy to forget to do that because these levels get so chaotic. But, gotta keep going. Well, we at least can kill everything, every normal zombie that comes in each lane now that we've got a whole row of bloomerangs. We definitely need a whole bunch more bloomerangs though, so gotta keep planting this sun. Give this bloomerang up in the top lane some help. Lanes 1, 3, and 5 are going to be the most annoying for pharaoh zombies. Mainly because that walnut's right in front of that sunflower, and I can't plant, unplant that sunflower. I've actually tried it before. I've tried unplanting something that was in the yellow and black area just to see what happens, and let me tell you, it's not good. annoying pharaoh zombie here in this middle lane. I'm just gonna freeze it and give the boomerang some time to kill it. Lots of action in this third lane, so annoying. Here comes the buckethead zombie too. kill this bucket head zombie in the second lane with a potato mine. All 
right, here come some more feral zombies, and obviously in the lands where we can't plant bong joys. So... Just gonna plant some more blueberries, gonna freeze this middle one, I think. I'm gonna have to be really careful here. One of these walnuts is gonna get eaten. And as soon as it does, I'm gonna have to replace it. Like, at the bottom here. So, the lanes that have endangered plants now have four bloomerings each, so they're pretty protected now. I'm just gonna have to be careful to replace the walnuts when necessary. And I'm going to freeze this middle pharaoh zombie right now. Buckethead is getting killed by the bok choy. <laughs> it got eaten. Well, I guess it did its job, right? <laughs> okay. That potato mine is actually pretty unnecessary in the middle lane. It's definitely, almost certainly, gonna get eaten, but I did it on the off chance it doesn't, which I know it won't. <laughs> there you go. See, I know these things and I still do them. Do not ask me why. Okay, so I'm just gonna plant some more bloomerangs here to help out, and it looks like we have done it! That was Ancient Egypt Save Our Seeds 1, with no plant food and no power-ups. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please press that like button, and thanks for watching!